I have been noticing recently that some crafters feel that they shouldn't share happiness of getting their new expensive art products, but a quality, but a brands of craft goodies, and they don't share that happiness just because they feel that many other crafters or some other crafters cannot simply afford that. But well, I'm here today to share with you the power of art tools. You know how much I love recycle uh, art. You know how much I love alternatives of expensive uh, craft products. Uh, I would love to tell you today, if you can afford your expensive tools, use them, enjoy them and be proud. And you know why? Because I know you will, you love your tools. I know you will make the most of it. You worked hard for it. You deserve to own it and use it and enjoy it. So let's use both a cheaper version and more expensive one and let's see the power of art tools let's color our butterfly with a cheaper version product and more expensive one craft goodies uh, those paints were actually literally costing me 50 cents that's like uh, no cost nearly and those were very cheap as well and they're another one so I have few paints here and let's use this <laughs> school uh, kids um, brush and here on this side I have oops there is a little fly uh, I have Jane Davenport uh, beautiful my favorite of all watercolors and I have some uh, markers here and there and I have good quality brushes so I would love to see the difference and see the power of art tools is there a power in in those or not we shall see oh my phone again sorry for that I will start off with coloring my left uh, side of the butterfly and the paper that is here it's a cheaper quality watercolor paper and this one is a bit more expensive quality we will see if there is a difference between those uh, at all or not on I don't know I'm curious myself I'm gonna spray some water on top of my uh, watercolor and that's it and I I'm very curious myself I have to say how things will go and I will hope to be able to make something really pretty with those today uh, but you know <laughs> I'll try uh, my best for sure and see if their power of art tool is there or not <laughs> uh, the brush because it's because it's a um, school brush it doesn't have a tip so it's not that easy for me to color it because basically it's harder to to move around with the color but I'll, I'll try um, I do see that this tendency of people feeling nearly guilty when they can buy and can afford more expensive tools craft tools and sometimes they feel sometimes they actually what's the word um some other crafters would out loud really um too out loud say that they shouldn't be sharing because not everyone can afford it and i always try to kind of look on the other side as well of that and one of the example i always say is that if my neighbor, next door neighbor, is having a brand new car, should I go to him and say, look, uh, go and hide it in the garage, garage because I can't buy a beautiful car like that and I feel uh, I'm unhappy with seeing that every day. You, you know, you don't do that. You, you just, you, you can't kind of, uh, you cannot kind of have everything in life, right? So, I... I thought because recently I have been sharing uh, projects, many projects on recycle, um, on re on recycling, um, using tea and coffee, trying to trying to give both for for everyone, for those who um, I, I, maybe basically I've tried to say that look, using cheap is good, using recycling is good as well, and. Uh, even if you can afford everything, it doesn't mean that you should stop using the cheaper alternatives because it's fun to do that, you know? So I'm trying to encourage everyone in that m terms, in that matter. But at the same time, I felt recently that those who can actually, the water is skipping 
away from my brush to my butterfly. The, those people who can afford, those crafters, beautiful crafters that are lucky that I, that they can afford uh, spending a bit of more money on their tools, they feel guilty nearly. They they feel that they shouldn't share their happiness because someone will jump into them saying, you shouldn't do that. Well, they have a fair right to share what they bought, if they got it on sale or not, if they were a happy mail from a friend or maybe their partner gave them money to spend on goodies. You know, there are so many different stories and we shouldn't, we shouldn't let... Um, other crafters feel bad because they can uh, buy it because they can afford it and we cannot that's how I see it so this is where I decided and I was inspired by those to do this video to kind of show the different the different um, side of uh, crafting you know that it's okay to to use your expensive tools don't hide them on the shelf use them enjoy them because they yours, you worked hard for it, you maybe sometimes were saving for them for a very long time, you know, and it's okay, <laughs> it's okay, it really is okay. As you can see, I am chatting to you, but at the same time I'm coloring a bit of, I'm adding water on top of my paper and then I'm trying to make a bit of a movement with my color, uh, with all of the shades of beautiful pinks and blues and trying to kind of have that the color doesn't go that nicely spread together and it's harder with that brush but sure you know what I'm gonna go with that I will hope that this will be nice even though those are craft uh, those are school paints and uh, many crafters are using those just because um, that's what they can afford and I love using both I love experimenting I love um, I love uh, challenging myself because it's challenging I think it's possible to do pretty things with cheaper stuff it's just more challenging that's what I would say uh, but at the same time I do enjoy the more uh, slightly more expensive craft tools sometimes slightly more expensive sometimes much more expensive you know um, and yes I do enjoy that as well it's nice because they just different shading the it's different to work with them sometimes just simply easier you know so that's kind of how I see it I hope you getting the idea of why and what I'm trying to say by that I, I, I do hope you you understand my point of view my my, my way of thinking here um, so yes I am nearly finished with my butterfly here and I'm quite pleased with the effect, to be honest. It's nice. It's really nice. I will outline everything in a minute, once everything is dry. I just want to work more, a bit more, on my uh, on my uh, butterfly here. And, yeah, I'm going to leave it as it is. And I will go to my... <laughs> my... Um, more expensive paints now. Um, our expensive watercolor paper and the brush is different. It's harder on that side because I'm left-handed so it was easier for me to paint on this side but sure we just make the most of it now. Mm -hmm. Okay and I will spray my paints as well. I do see that I have a bit of less color. I'm gonna grab one more paint. Two seconds. I have one more set. Those are the pastel color from Prima. I love them too very much. So I think it would be nice to use both. I hope. I hope it would be nice to use both. Mm -hmm. Now. Hmm. I would love to be able to give you some guidelines about the coloring but since I'm just learning myself I'm not gonna even try to tell you why I do th this or that because I don't know I'm very much experimenting myself and I'm going with the flow as they say go with the flow and <laughs> that's exactly what I'm doing now I don't have much of an 
knowledge yet about the watercolors. I'm learning. I am very much enjoying the process, I have to say. Uh, but, <laughs> but, but I am really a learner right now. So <laughs> we, are, we are all learners at some point with things, isn't it? So it's nice to, um, to do that. <laughs> it's nice to do so. So yes, I'm adding water and I'm playing with pigment. That's kind of what I do. And I I don't even know the techniques that they call them wet on wet and <laughs> things like that. I use probably some techniques, but I don't really know what I'm doing that much. Um, you know. So let's leave it at that. I hope you can uh, at least see a little bit what I'm doing and enjoy. And uh, maybe you find it you will find that inspirational uh, somehow, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> yes, I am very much, um, what's the word? I love experiment and I love, um, and I love trying for myself and not being afraid. Um, and I think my last video where I was using uh, some uh, pencils, they weren't watercolors. <laughs> But I was trying to activate them with the water so much and someone in the comments said, I didn't even check it myself, someone in the comments said they're not watercolors and it was a pain to see you try to activate them but do you know what, <laughs> why not, that's just the fun part and <laughs> that's, that's exactly how I see things, it's a fun part so don't uh, stress yourself over small things, it's not worth it, so yeah. <laughs> I am, yet again, I'm gonna repeat myself, I'm really um, improvising here. I am, I am, what's the word? Um, I'm just learning, I'm just trying to see what I can do and is there any nice effect that we will come up with when it's finished, so. You know, <laughs> I'm moving my pigment and trying to trying to see where this will lead us. And I love what I'm seeing right now. I do, I do love. <laughs> I do, I do. I do. <laughs> You know what? Arts, crafts, everything. It's such a joy when you treat this, when you're relaxed about it, you know? You kind of need to ask yourself, why am I doing it? Am I doing that because to impress someone or is it for me just for having fun or... Oops, I <laughs> touched the left side, sorry. Or is it just because I really want to have fun. So, you know, you just have to kind of answer yourself and then it will be much easier to... Um, the way your approach will be to your art will be just different than I think once you know that, you know, it's just for having fun unless you are in some competition. But if you're not trying to be better than someone and you're not in the competition, things will work out then much better trust me I love what I'm seeing and I hope to dry it as it is without much of you know a, at least a little bit I will try to dry, dry both a little bit uh, I dried some parts but I feel it's a little too much water so I'm gonna pick up some uh, some water because it would take me ages to dry it so it's nice as it is I love that I may pick up some water from here or maybe not <laughs> Left side looks not bad, you know. I much more prefer the right side. Like, like honestly, I do, but left doesn't look bad. I am going to grab a little bit of paint and I'm going to try to kind of, um, kind of touch, make a little touches and fill in those little ga gaps, gasps, gaps, <laughs> gasps, <laughs> in between here just to have a bit of less of uh, white, but... I, I just a little bit, not not too much, and I'm gonna dry that yet again. Oh, sorry, mm, my butterfly is dry. So what I will do right now, I'm gonna add a bit of outlining here. Um, with the, this is from eBay. 
a drawing it's called drawing it's a per oops permanent um permanent pencil pen pencil i never know that you know i always have this problem whether it's pencil or marker or like the vocabulary of mine is horrific it's really bad i know i i don't i know but basically uh, this is a you know it's a ordinary quality but I'm very impressed actually with that ordinary quality it's good I think it's a little wet I still can touch it gently I'm gonna just go with the half here and I love that I really do I barely can see my lines but I will try to do my best to repeat those lines here and there and yes I wonder if you color your um if you do some drawings and if you do watering watercolor drawings and coloring and if you do I would love you to tag me on your p projects on Instagram or share it on my Facebook page I would love to see those definitely check your out and see them uh it's nice to see inspirations from others and if you will try a hand on doing a butterfly that would be even better oh yeah I never said that I have drawn this butterfly and you know butterfly is a butterfly so nothing fancy in this case it's just an ordinary butterfly uh, but I think it's nice and um, yeah I definitely don't see my lines here <laughs> but I'm guessing and I'm just gonna go like that and that's it I'm guessing it's kind of here if not, that's okay too, you know. Don't stress yourself. Okay, that's what I have now here. And then on the right hand side, I'm going to use Elegant Writer, which is which is a beautiful, fine quality. Um, it's a marker thing. It's a pen, pen thing, but pen or pencil? Pen. Pencil is the pencil. This is the pencil, isn't it? I think so, yeah. And this one, part, this particular one, I think I've done a video on that. Many of you have seen it, I'm sure, because you, you've said it to me and you you were suggesting me how uh, awesome is this thing. This thing is working and you can activate that with water, the Elegant Writer, and it will just give you beautiful shades uh, on your project. So I hope that I will be able to do that right now actually once I'm over and outline all of that I hope that I will be able to do just a little bit of a touches of um, of that here so I love the outcome at the moment I really think it's beautiful on both sides I do prefer the right hand side I'll show you closer I'll show you closer in a second sorry for being so <laughs> so I don't know so me <laughs> I just have million thoughts in the head, in head. Are you like that as well? I have million things to tell you, like, I would love to be able to have those hours in the day to be able to chat with you and say everything that I have to share. But I have, not, it's not possible to, <laughs> to do that, but I would love that. Okay, we're nearly there. Oops, that's a very fine line now. Very much. Okay. I will show you closer just for two seconds before activating how it is. Can you see? I hope you can. So, as you can see, both are very pretty, both sides. Uh, but here the blending is a bit better and it's just very magical, very dreamy looking color-wise. This one is just, it was harder to activate whether that was the brush or the paint or the paper itself or my skills or lack of skills. That could be it as well. So my next step will be to finish off this uh, by adding just a little bit of water to my Elegant Writer and to just activate everything once again. Um, I could ruin that beautiful butterfly, but I'm gonna chance it, and I hope that I'm in the right here, uh, uh, thinking that it will just be beautiful, just like that, just to beautifully activate that and add a little shading on our gorgeous butterfly. Yes, and I can already see that it is nice. It is nice, and that's exactly what I was hoping to see. Uh, to be honest 
Okay, I hope that you enjoyed this uh, quick video today. And if you do, please do me a favor. Share that video with your friends, with your other crafty friends, so they can see it because the, the, this is the only chance for others to uh, hear about the video. So, by you sharing it, and it would be nice if it's possible, if you have time to do so, you know. <laughs> and I always love hearing your comments. I wish to have more time to reply. I do reply to some, as you know, but sometimes you are... Oh, I'm overdone, overwhelmed with your comments because there's so many and they're so beautiful and they're touching my heart so much and it's amazing because, you know, I'm trying to give my best here with the video so it's nice to hear your opinion always, your feedback, it's very much important for me to improve, for me to change the videos or maybe to make them different or better or what, what could be changed, what could be done so your opinion is valuable for me so much every time because so many of you have pointed things that I would never ever even th think about or you have ask me for videos that I wouldn't even think about so yeah I love hearing from you it's it's really something uh, it's equally important as you share the video it's equally for me, me to hear about hear your opinion um, that's it I think we are done here guys and ha what can I say I I love it and I'm not gonna I will I won't activate that because this is permanent so it oh wait it's actually sorry I should use this brush right <laughs> is it activating or what no it's not maybe just a little bit it does activate a little bit guys actually I'm gonna do that the pre permanent thing is it permanent now I'm confused water based pigment ink no waterproof Hmm, some proof durable viber na, 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 na. writing vivid color. You know what? It didn't smudge and it's hard to activate it as you can see it's a completely different story, but it does activate bits, so I'm gonna do it a little bit, just a little bit at least, so it gives us a little bit of um equality to the other side. So it's fair and square then, right? Um since the tip is so Dra dreadful it's hard to do anything like that and I think I'm more activating the paints yet again over the the pen the pencil the pen thing really so whatever it activates it does work a little bit it I have some bit of smooshes so that's nice we have a bit of smooshes so that's kind of looking uh, um, fair and square to me on both sides I like to make comparisons and the in this case as well I love this to be uh, visible for you. The power of art tools, there is no question about it. The difference is huge and you can, you can, I, I, I'm done here but a few words, you can compare yourself, you can answer yourself what you think. Um, for me it's simple, uh, power of art tools, your projects will be better uh, and if you have your gorgeous art tools, you've spent so money on, some money on them, don't be shy, don't be afraid of ju being judged, just use them, enjoy them, make the most of your beautiful craft tools, they're there for you on the market and some of you who are against spending more just because you can buy cheaper versions, by all means do whatever you feel like and those who cannot afford, you can try to maybe uh, put something every month to to get one good quality thing, one set of watercolors, maybe. It's up to yourself. I'm not here to tell you what to do. I, I was here today to share with you the power of art tools and I hope I made uh, I made the I made it clear and I and it was fun to, to watch it to see. And I, I hope I proved it that it's nice to have some good quality art tools as well. So I hope you liked the video and if you did, please uh, let me know what you think, share it with your friends and do subscribe to my channel for new videos to come. And also it would be nice to hear uh, if 
that kind of video is something that is nice for you to see uh, coloring even the coloring I've never done any coloring video so please do let me know if this is fun for you so any uh, any feedback will be much appreciated the negative as well the thumbs down are fine too if you feel like it so I'm good with that uh, yes till the next time guys I love you loads and I cannot wait to meet you again on my channel I'll talk to you soon <laughs> bye